Well, speaking of touching, remember the story of that mother of four who was living in a dilapidated home with her four children? Well, today we're happy to tell you that there has been an outpouring of support by the public to members of that family. Today, Arla Don Davis stopped by their home to find out just how their fortunes have changed. The smiles on the faces of Jason, Janae and Jonathan show it all as they are now ready to start off the new academic year in grand style. This was made possible after making an appeal to Bahamians after the family gave our news team an exclusive interview for supplies they needed to enter the classroom on Monday. And on Thursday, ZNS News visited their home off Cowpen Road and met a large spread of school items and other supplies over the kitchen counter. Mother Stacy Sand says she is overwhelmed by the support she received by Bahamians and later thanked them for their generous donation. I want to say thank you to the Almighty God for touching the hearts of the Bahamian people. I mean, I'm still taken aback even as I speak with you just now. I really, really, <laughs> I really couldn't fathom the thought to think that persons would have responded to my family the way they have. As you can see, just behind me, you know, and um, I'm still receiving calls. Since the story aired last week, Sands has received about 80 calls from persons offering assistance with not only school supplies, but cleaning material and other acts of kindness. Well, I've had persons offering words of prayer, words of encouragement. Listen, those words really going a long way. Is still keeping me today. You know, I had persons, oh, can I get the address? I mean, I, I'm talking about this so eager, you know, and excited, you know. Even though I had the persons that asked for address and they didn't show up, man, the ones that came, they really made up for it. Sands just recently endured a medical procedure to remove a mask from her ovaries and says she is still unsure of the status of her employment at a local security company. However, she's appealing to any business owner who plans on hiring workers soon to keep her and her family in mind. I have tried to reach out to the office in regards to certain situations and I'm still waiting. What kind of skills do you have? in terms of if someone wants to actually hire you? Well, I have did cashing, bartendering, waitressing. Um, I'd pretty much say a jack of all trades. Meanwhile, Stacy's little darlings also expressed their appreciation for their much needed gift. Thank, Thank you. you. LaDawn Davis, ZNS Network News.